श्योर ईच वन ऑफ यू कैन रिलेट टू इट आपके पास भी बड़े सारे किस्से होंगे क्यों हुआ था कैसे हुआ था किसी को नहीं पता बंद दरवाजों के अंदर हुआ था लेकिन जो हम सबको बताया गया वो हम सब ने मान लिया हमें शायद उन लोगों का दर्द नहीं पता होगा और जितना हमें पता है उसमें कुछ और ऐड करने के लिए द मैवरिक फिल्म मेकर लेस एंड जर्मन गुरिंदर चड्डा बेस्ड ऑन ट्रू स्टोरीज हैज मेड दिस फिल्म पार्टिशन 1947 यू नो जिसे देखने के बाद शायद पिक्चर थोड़ी और क्लियर हो जाए हम सब के लिए कि आखिर क्या हुआ था क्यों कैसे एक एक कागज के ऊपर यू नो ऐसा एक कलम की लकीर से देश बट गया लोग बट गए इंसान प्यार मोहब्बत और जो भाईचारा था वो नफरत में तब्दील हो गया इसी सब की बात करने के लिए और इस इस फिल्म में जो कि शायद फिल्म नहीं है ये ये फिल्म से बहुत ज्यादा बढ़कर है उन सब के लिए जिन्होंने इसमें काम किया है और आप लोगों के लिए भी जब आप इसको देखेंगे तो क्या है इसमें ये देखने के लिए मैं चाहूंगा हम लोग ट्रेलर प्ले करें पार्टिशन नाइनटीन का जो कि एक ट्रिब्यूट है हमारे देश के लिए इंडिपेंडेंस डे जो सत्तरवा हम मनाने जा रहे हैं उसके लिए लेडीज एंड जेलमन पार्टिशन नाइनटीन entertainment to tell us something about his association reliance entertainment association with partition 1947 so uh i think few few weeks from now uh we'll be all celebrating the 17th independence uh of this country and uh while you have been explaining that while independence day is a get a celebration moment in this country at the same point of time that period that era was a was an wound in many lives many generations of course we uh got associated with this flame probably one and a half couple of years back when this uh, proposals came to us and for us we are a film making company we make different kind of films but very rarely uh, some subjects come to us where uh, we take the opportunity not only for making a film but to be a part of the history or to show our respect to that part of the history uh, for the years to come yeah. in our mind uh, partition 1947 by gurinder is uh, that kind of event so filmmakers companies across the globe like pathe reliance entertainment bbc yeah. ingenious bfi all of them joined hands together uh, to make this historic film and uh, i think probably i am not the correct person to talk about the film or the talk about this journey uh, the person who have worked on it researched on it spends years uh, given her own um, own facts and own knowledge and own historical parts yeah. uh, i'll take this opportunity and uh, request gurinder chadda uh, who is among us this evening please come here and she will be the best person to Super. share thank her. you so much thank mr sarkar welcome gurinder thank you shivashish that was a wow trailer that we just saw it was wow for me to see it in hindi that was right. very wow i loved it loved it we also loved it right we did right mm. we all loved it does this thing that i'd like to ask you is se pehle ki hum aage badhe mujhe please bataye whenever you've made a film you know there's there's has there has been a social message in it yeah. with a quirk hamesha kuch rehta hai woh ek hmm. lekin with this kind of subject kitna reservation tha ki yaar how 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 do i deal with this was there any kind of reservation that you had well all the films i make in some way are are about me hmm. and autobiographical and about my own story and this film is also very personal right. Uh, my ancestors are from punjab mm -hmm. now which is pakistan mm -hmm. that part so growing up in england i didn't have an ancestral homeland mm -hmm. to call my own so the shadow of partition has been with me throughout my whole life mm -hmm. so for me this is a personal film but it also does have a quirk because what i realized in doing the research was that the history that i had been taught mm -hmm. about why partition happened was totally a lie complete lie uh we have been told that partition happened as a reaction to us fighting with each other whereas my research shows that partition was a uh, definitely a political act right. it jaan bujh ke hua tha um for certain interests right right i'm i'm sure as i also said earlier ki this is based on two events yes. there are two books 
जिसको अडेप्ट किया गया है प्लीज टेल अस समथिंग अबाउट दोस बुक्स सो द फर्स्ट बुक वी ऑप्शनड वाज फ्रीडम एट मिडनाइट व्हिच इज द नो पीपल टॉक अबाउट एज द सेमिनल बुक ऑन पार्टिशन रिटन बाय लैरी कॉलिंस एंड डोमिनिक लापियर एंड फॉर मेनी इयर्स दिस वाज माय फादर्स फेवरेट बुक इट्स स्टिल ऑन द शेल्फ डॉग ईटन यू नो um and it was based on lots of long interviews with mount batten himself so it's quite biased you know <laughs> in that way um but i was uh, i had optioned that book i had started wanting to make this film uh because i went to pakistan i what happened was in 2008 i did a bbc documentary which was looking at my roots uh and we started in england went to kenya where i was born came to india went to hardwar okay. found out where my ancestral village was and then went to pakistan and in the documentary i say okay i'm here but i'm not going to call this country pakistan i'm going to call it pre partitioned india because that's what it means to me and you see it in the documentary it's on youtube but when i got to the town all these people came out and they threw flowers at me and they gave me a shawl and they said aap hamari beti hai ji aaya nu and they said this is your home we're so happy you've come so it was a very moving experience for me right. and i found my grandfather's house uh and there were many refugees there uh from india to there so it was at that point i felt i wanted to do something about the people's uh partition right. so that was the beginning of the film but then once we had started doing our research mm. uh i I was at a reception with Prince Charles and I told Prince Charles I'm making a film about your favorite uncle yes. and he was very excited um and he said what are you basing it on and I said freedom at midnight and he said no no you need to read some other books and he said please get uh, Narendra Singh Sarila's book uh which I hadn't heard of went to five bookshops found it was mind blowing and of course Narendra Singh Sarila was a diplomat an Indian uh, government official right. he was a uh, high commissioner to Paris for 20 years he was um um uh ADC to Mount Batten in uh, Rashtrapati Bhavan you know in 1948 uh and he had been in the British library in London in 1997 and he was sitting there writing a book about the maharajas of India mm. when an Indian lady Mrs Ghosh who was a librarian was given these papers top secret documents and and was told to index them and she s- saw the papers read the significance she went to narendra said sir i think you should look at these papers he ditched the book he was writing and wrote shadow of the great game so his indian intervention against all the odds in the british library where these documents were then uncovered and so we took that and turned it into uh the movie wow that that that's you know so much to learn from and kitna sun ke ekdam aisa lag raha hai ha yaar ek ek as if you 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 know it's a storytelling session jahan aap humko kahin aur le gaye uh with you maine hindi mein nahi bola nahi bilkul acha kiya aapne jaise bola hame bahut acha laga magar jab main hindi mein bol gaya aapko koi samajh nahi aana tha jo kitna acha laga jitna aapne jaise bola so what we'll do is you know a director's vision जिसको उतारा है बहुत ही खूबी के साथ इस पर्दे पे एक्टर्स ने उनमें से एक दो वेरी गॉजेस हुमा कुरैशी इज हियर उनके लिए जोरदार तालियां हो जाए प्लीज ये जोरदार कहते हैं आप लोग जी थैंक यू हुमा ने बहुत साथ दिया हमको पिक्चर में शी वाज अमेजिंग एंड शी आई डिडंट नो हुमा एंड वी केम आई केम टू इंडिया एंड ऑडिशनड several actresses but huma just jumped out at me i have to say in the same way that kira knightley did for bend it like beckham i didn't know kira knightley either um but huma had that uh, very natural quality very uh, feisty you know and plus she looked very hutkutti punjabi you know i liked that and uh, and i'm so pleased because all during the shooting you know she would question me a lot you know and i liked that 
maybe not at the time. But, <laughs> but, Definitely not at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but she really, her contribution was fantastic. I, I like the way she's listening to this, you know. She's like, what is Gurinder about to say about yeah. me, you know. Yeah, she's, like, a, she's a tricky one. You never know what she's going to say. So I have to keep telling her, you can't say this. <laughs> right. You can say a lot of things, which we want to listen here, about your role, the preparations. But first of all, you know, partition 1947. How do you relate to this subject? Well, I think as Indians uh, growing up in India, uh, everyone relates to the partition. We all have, uh, you know, our parents or grandparents have experienced something. So, partition, as a word, you listen to it, there is an emotional connection to it. And my family is also. Thankfully, it is not painful, because there was no loss of life. But to leave the house, or 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 to leave the house, is sort of a good feeling. And the fact that so many people were forced to leave their homes, you know, uh, they didn't want to. And uh, that choice should not be given to any human being. Kisi bhi insaan ko force kiya jai ki apna ghar chhod ke chala jai for a political reason, I think it's not right. And, and what I loved about this script when I read it, it's such a, I mean, of course, there's the politics and there's all the research that Gurinder and her husband Paul have put in the film. But it's so, it's so human. And it talks about something very simple about humanity, about love, and that's what I loved about the film. And all the characters are flawed, uh, they're passionate, they have ambitions, they have hopes, they have dreams, and you sort of go like, ki aaj ke dunya mein bhi hum dekhe, to ye aaj bhi ho raha hai na? To humne kya 70 years se kuch sikha hai? Matlab jo hum kya wo same mistakes baad baari karte rehenge? So I think in a small way, it's all of us have tried yeah. to say that. It's very, a very, very well said. Very, it's a very contemporary film, yeah. even though it is set 70 years ago. When we started the film to write, Obama was president. There was no war in Syria. And there was no war in Europe. Who could think that Trump will become president of the president? Who would have thought of Brexit? Nobody would have thought of these things when we started making the film. So during the course of the film, the world went ulta pulta, basically. And I think that now when you in I was in Australia last month and uh, we released the film there people uh, really loved the film in Australia because they felt it was very modern and also in Australia they have their own border policies their own uh, divisions you know so so I think the film is a very Indian story in its heart but actually it's a very global story because Akar you know partition refugees this is the state of our world today politicians uh, will always try and divide us because th it's easier to rule us if we're divided. Right. Australia ko chhodte. Hamare desh mein bhi, I'm sure, yeh baad dhamaka machai ki film. Uh, the name is uh, Partition 1947. And now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's over to you. Aap log ke jo bhi sawaal hai, aap pooch sakte. But before that, we'll have a quick photo op. So I'll take the mics. Hai na? Yeah, I'll just take. Jee. Thank you so much. Now, uh, yeah, we will do that. We'll have another photo, but we'll just have the question answer round, yeah? Uh, it's over to you. Uh, you. Please, please, please. No, no, please, please. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Please, please, have a seat. Come on, please have a seat. No, we're good, actually. You're good? We're fine. Yeah, good. Yeah. We'll take the chairs. Take the chairs out. Ji. Good enough, this is for you. Always. Huma Ji? Ji. On your right. Yeah. Hi. हाय जैसा कि हम सभी ने देखा कि इस टेलर में हमने देखा और इस फिल्म में ओमपुरी जी भी हैं लेकिन अब वो हमारे बीच में नहीं है तो I think वो आपके डैडी बने हैं इस फिल्म में करेक्ट तो कैसा रहा उनके साथ का एक्सपीरियंस अगर आप कुछ शेयर करना चाहें क्योंकि ये उनकी वन ऑफ द लास्ट फिल्म थी तो अगर आप कुछ बता पाएं जी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल उनकी आखरी फिल्म में से एक है और ओम जी मेरे अब्बा प्ले कर रहे हैं फिल्म में एंड आई थैंक गुरुंदर कि उन्हें इतने प्यारे अब्बा दिए मुझे बिकॉज़ फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट मोमेंट दैट आई मेट हिम 
he was just such a lovely person to be with of course he's a very very fine actor whether it's been in india or in the west and we all will fondly remember his huge body of work but i think insan bahut badhiya the at least he was very warm and loving with me and he used to call me beti also he came to my house in fact last year almost this time you know uh, eid ke time pe and and my parents met him it was it was so lovely to have him over and i think it's a great loss and i feel my scenes with him in the film are some of my favorite scenes especially the one in the back of the car mm-hmm. where hum ek scene kar rahe the jab mujhe laga aur gobind ko bhi laga ki acha take hai and he was just sitting next to me he didn't even have lines and he said ek aur karte hain mere liye and both of us went like but it was a good shot tha i mean another take and and when you see the film you'll realize it's come out so beautiful and so emotional and i think only an actor who's worked so much in theater in film in different languages has that kind of experience to really i guess tell you know when you can really when you really hit the spot i think for omji he when i gave him the script he was very happy because obviously being punjabi he was happy that i was punjabi and a woman and taking this subject um which he was very dear to his heart um but even though it was a serious film Uh, the abiding memory of omji was that he was a complete and utter joker <laughs> on set he was in the scene with uh, hans raj hans ji and his character is blind and old and has to sit still but whenever the music started he wanted to get up and jump up and sing and yeah. dance and we had to keep stopping him because he kept getting into shot while he was dancing um but also there were many extras in that yeah, scene no. and he loved to joke with them and there was one poor fellow who we had it was an extra but we'd given him a line and he was supposed to go and hand him a plate of pakoras, the, pakoras and this poor fellow was very nervous anyway om omji is blind in the film and he would walk up to him in this one take and he gave him the pakoras in abba pakore and uh, om puri said ma no definitely you ma no bhera nahi you that's it to lag it out and 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 that was in the middle of a take mm. so we had to cut but the thing about ompuri was that he lived life to the full yeah. you know he enjoyed himself off camera he was doing his little business with uh, you know a few tipples here and there but enjoying himself as we as he was shooting and i think he couldn't wait to see the film i know i had exchanged some uh, mm. uh, comments with him so my only sad thing is that he's not here to see the film yeah. but every day on the set he would always come up to me and say bibi ji tu bahut acha kaam kar rahi hai kari ja kari ja yeah Uh, Gurinder ma'am hi hi i'm uh, hoshan katrak from parsi times chadda ji aapke liye question hai ji uh, when we talk of independence the one of the first films which come to mind is gandhi hmm. it's been almost 35 years since uh, yes. the film was released uh, what parallels would you draw between the two films well i think the biggest parallel is the uh, subject time you know uh 1947 uh and the fact that that was also made by a british director um and i think gandhi was a seminal film in its time because it was huge and sweeping and i think richard attenborough had spent a lot of time 9 years i think trying to make that film um and it was uh very much depicted history as as he had seen it at that time the where the films differ is that my version tells a different version of history from of the british empire in india in the last days of the raj compared to gandhi's to gandhi and i think that um i really wish richard attenborough had been around today because i think he would really enjoy this take and i think what's been very interesting in britain is that uh the majority of britishers have actually uh taken taken all this on the chin i mean you know churchill is a hero for many in britain but he's also not a hero for many in britain and out of britain so to the film challenges you in in one of the biggest war, biggest, biggest britishers heroes of britain uh and his deeds because of course a lot of what the british did they did in their own interest not in the interest of india and uh in the end of you know i think gandhi does not challenge that whereas uh, partition 1947 absolutely challenges the role of empire the last days of empire and the legacy of the british that was left in in india uh, good ma'am title kuch aur tha abhi zyada impact kar raha hai ji 
um, because um, so I am a very unusual film director working today. Uh, I'm British and I'm also Indian. I'm Punjabi and I'm also a mother. You know, these four things are very unusual. In fact, I can't think of anyone else who has that position. Unique combination. Unique combination. This film is made definitely by somebody who is both British and Indian and a woman and a mother. Because mothers, we don't get to make films about great tragedies, you know, with lots of violence and turbulence. You know, mothers don't get to do that. So for us, when our children misbehave and fight, our, uh, what we have to do is give them a moral guidance. We have to say, Bache, acha chalo ho gaya. you go apologize, you go apologize, don't let this happen again. So our, as mothers, you know, our approach to life and humanity is to, is to make things better, is to heal wounds, you know, instruct our children to reach a moral, higher moral place. So in that sense, this, if I was going to make a film about partitions 70 years later, it was very important for me that I did something that took us to a different level. In terms of the change, you know, being this unique combination means that I have to appeal to people in Britain, Goras, you know, <laughs> middle class, upper class Goras like the Mountbatten's, as well as working class, you know, Australians, Americans, you know, people all over the globe, as well as Indians, you know. And I, I try and do that as best as I can. I mean, I have the one statistic that no one else has. I made a film that was number one in India and England at the same time, and that was Bride and Prejudice. And that's not, you know, no one else has done that yet. So I think that uh, the, uh, what I'm learning more and more is that there are certain things that appeal to an Indian audience and appeal to the Indian side of me, just as there are uh, to the English side of me. So Partition 1947 is a great title for the film. And in fact, that was the working title of the film for many years. All the early scripts are called Partition. Um, it was... Uh, you know, in England, that they thought uh, Viceroy's house uh, went, was, a was a better title. But for India, Partition 1947 is a better title than Viceroy's house. It has a better Much connection. Better. Yeah. And even the trailer, for me, gets to the point, you know. In the, That's uh, Indians, no? It's we just Indians. get to the point. <laughs> I mean, the English trailer is great because... <laughs> so, you know, we kind of, ha you know, we did, we showed it like a great sumptuous... British uh, period drama, which I wanted to make. I wanted to make a film like they make in Britain. I just wanted to have the people who are normally, the Indians who are normally extras, uh, be center stage. So for Britain, it was a subversive film because all these extras, these knockers, they took the emotion of the film in the end, you know, not the Mount Batters. Whereas in India, I think we've gone for the real reason why I made the film, which was the politics. The reason why my grandparents suffered at that time and why I don't have a homeland, an ancestral homeland to call my own. That was the real reason for me to make the film. And I think the Indian trailer that Reliance have put together absolutely hits the nail on the head. Uh, Hi, Huma. Congratulations for the trailer. Uh, how was it working with Gurinda and also uh, out, uh, the trailer that went on Berlin Film Festival? The trailer that went on? Berlin, Berlin Film Festival. Right. Well, uh, tough. Gurinda is a very tough director. She's a lovely director, but a very tough director. If she is not happy with what you're doing, she will, she will, uh, she will keep working till she gets what she wants. And I think that's brilliant because this is not an easy film to make. Uh, when I read script, I thought it's a very unusual Gurinda Chadda film. You know, we associate her with uh, Pride and Prejudice, with Ben Like Beckham. These are very like diaspora, you know, slice of life problem films. I mean, but this was a much bigger film. So for me, I, it was interesting because, and also what she said, no, her origin is so unique uh, as, as a British and a Punjabi filmmaker that she's a very interesting person to make a film like this. And in her films... Uh, women always have a very strong voice, like her female characters are very well etched out. Uh, so so I, I was very excited to, of course, work with her, but uh, she's, she's a force of nature. She's 
she's excited about the film that she does. A uh, film is like her baby, so how she would scold her children and make sure they do the right thing. I think she treated all her actors like that, and it was great. It was a great collaboration. It was fun working with her, and she's also great fun. But that's always when we're not shooting. Uh, and it was a very difficult film to make for all of us. It was hot. It was dusty. हमने जोधपुर और जोधपुर के बाहर आउटस्कर्ट पे शूटिंग की थी अगस्त सितंबर में गर्मी में मतलब जैसे जल के काले हो गए थे हम लोग बट आई थिंक इट वाज इट वाज वर्थ इट बिकॉज यू बी ऑल न्यू यू मेकिंग एंड बीइंग अ पार्ट ऑफ समथिंग रियली रियली स्पेशल सो आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी ब्रेव फिल्म फॉर हर टू टू डू एंड लाइक शी सेड्स अ वेरी टाइमली फिल्म फॉर हर टू पिक बिकॉज शी हैव डन एक्चुअली एनी अदर फिल्म यू नो बट टू डू अ फिल्म लाइक दिस एज अ वुमन आई थिंक इट्स नॉट ईजी एंड एंड हैट्स ऑफ थैंक यू हैट्स ऑफ मैम हाय मेरा नाम हेलो मैम या मैम मेरा सवाल आपसे है गुरिंदर मैम से कि मैम लेडी माउंट बेटन का कितना रोल था पार्टीशन में अगर आप कुछ बता पाए क्योंकि रिसर्च आपने बहुत वेल मैं ये दिखा दिखाना चाहती हूँ जो कुछ असलियत था एंड लेडी माउंट बेटन वो शी वाज मच मोर पॉलिटिकली एस्ट्यूट देन हर हस्बैंड Uh, her husband was very much into uh, his clothes his his badges his medals the pomp and splendor of his class being part of the royal family he was a very vain man and i wanted to show that that was part of his thing he was more excited about introducing the zipper you know to <laughs> to india and um whereas she was his conscience she constantly was saying to him don't rush don't rush what you're doing wait wait don't just go for partition wait wait so i think that um also there's a lot of footage of edwina out in india he remained a lot you know in uh, viceroy's house in rashtrapati bhavan meeting uh, you know nehru ji gandhi ji everybody but edwina she was out with the red cross uh she was a patron of the red cross she would go and visit villages she would go to gandhi's prayer meetings you know she was out and about in india and she actually really did want to make changes here um she took that role very seriously so i wanted to show that you know and the, all the footage is there on the, on youtube to see her uh, out there with refugees with people you know just not really able to do anything but just to show that hamdardi you know she very much wanted to do that and uh and i salute her for doing that actually but i think that her husband really um didn't really listen to her and um and he just sort of went down a different path okay. uh, ma'am dusra sawal ye hai kya aapko lagta hai partition tala ja sakta tha it can be avoided um mujhko ye afsos hai je wo time mein abhi wo top secret documents jinhe maine dekhe hain british library mein abhi hai koi bhi dekh sakta hai जे नेहरू जी और गांधी जी और पटेल जी वो लोग जे उन्होंने वो डॉक्यूमेंट्स देखे थे ना उस वक्त में मुझको लगता है हिंदुस्तान का अलग हिस्ट्री होनी होनी चाहिए थी बिकॉज आई थिंक दे वॉज सो आफ्टर थ्री हंड्रेड ईयर्स ऑफ ब्रिटिश रूल दे वर वेरी मच कंसर्न विद इंडिया एंड इंडियाज इंडिपेंडेंस quite rightly you know they had fought very hard a terrible struggle against british oppression for independence and so they were just thinking about these borders and india whereas britain was used to ruling the world was thinking about a bigger global scenario if india becomes independent what's going to happen to our place in the rest of the world so i think of source ki baat hai that i think the indian leaders never really thought about the global situation just about hindustan and i think these top secret documents show that uh, what the british agenda was and that the indian leaders didn't realize how uh, cunning they were in uh, in ga- in uh, pushing uh the indian politicians into one direction whereas they had a completely different agenda uh तफसील में बताऊँ तो आ, मैं उस वक्त मैंने स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ी थी और एक ऑडिशन टेप भेजा था गुरिंदर को हिंदुस्तान से सहर लतीफ कास्टिंग डायरेक्टर हैं उनने मुझे कॉल किया 
बोला फिल्म बन रही है मेरे घर आई हमने एक ऑडिशन टेप रिकॉर्ड किया जहां मैं कुछ दुपट्टा उपट्टा सुखा रही हूँ एंड आई सेंट गुरिंदर एंड आई थिंक गुरिंदर वी लाइक इट एंड उस तब को इंसिडेंटली मैं उसके कुछ टाइम बाद आई वॉज इन इंग्लैंड वन आई गोट अ कॉल से गुरिंदर वॉन्ट्स टू टेस्ट यू विथ मनीष दया दी एक्टर हुज इन द फिल्म विथ मी ऑपोजिट मी Uh, who's a wonderful, wonderful actor. But uh, so I said, "Me too." But in Hindustan, me who I knew, me too. England, me who. So then she got us in touch, and then I went to see her musical, and then we did like a reading together uh, with uh, Manish, uh, another actor from the film Jazz and I, which I think went well. Very well. And uh, then she called me one day. I was sleeping, and she called and saying, "Okay, I want you to be my Ali." And I think I screamed for five minutes, and she's <laughs> like, she laughed. <laughs> she said, "Okay, maybe it's the wrong decision." But no, it's but also um she has a peri- period face, period features. You know, in the film she has a 40s hairstyle and wears those big big salwars and kuli kameez and so she shoot she really suits the period look. That's important yeah. to say. And it's a lovely script like I said, you know, it's uh, each character is so beautifully written. हिस्ट्री को बहुत ही अलग तरीके से लिखा गया हम भी जब हिंदुस्तान में पार्टीशन के ऊपर फिल्म बनाते हैं तो बहुत अलग तरीके से बनाने बनाते हैं इनका नजरिया बनाने का बहुत अलग है ऑफ uh, कोर्स एक uh, जो सीक्रेट डॉक्यूमेंट्स की बात कर रही है वो तो है ही मतलब दैट्स द बेसिक क्रक्स ऑफ द फिल्म बट उसके अलावा पार्टीशन uh, को एक पीपल्स प्रॉब्लम बताया गया है बहुत आसान होता है कि आप फिंगर पॉइंट करो और किसी को ब्लेम करो बट टू रियली थिंक दैट इट्स अ कलेक्टिव प्रॉब्लम एंड हाउ दैट दैट एन इशू लाइक दिस अफेक्ट्स कॉमन पीपल आई थिंक वो कहीं ना कहीं निकल के आ रहा था विच आई सोर्ट ऑफ यू नो एज अ पर्सन ऑल्सो आई सोर्ट ऑफ रेजोनेट विद दैट दैट वट एवर कुड बी अल्टीरियर मोटिव इट कुड बी जियो पोलिटिकल इट कुड बी एनी थिंग बट टू डिवाइड पीपल यू नो एंड टू एंड टू कॉज अनरेस्ट ऑफ ब्लड शेड इज जस्ट लव दैट एंड आई न्यू वेन आई रेड द फिल्म दैट आई वुड लव टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ अ फिल्म लाइक दिस About Alia, well, Alia is a Muslim interpreter uh, to the uh, to the Mount Battens. If come, she's educated. She's Muslim, which is very unusual for a girl uh, for that period. Very strong. Her problem uh, is sort of the problem um, that India had, or a lot of Muslims in India had that point in time, whether to stay or to leave. And she's in love with this boy who's who's Hindu, and she has a blind father to take care of. And and the fathers found this lovely young Muslim boy for her. played by the lovely dashing arudhe singh who uh, who's a great guy uh, but she's just not in love with him and she has to make that choice whether to stay or to leave but we also hmm. made it that alia uh, and jeet one was from amritsar one was from lahore so you never they never knew which country they were going to end up in until the last minute so that was uh, which is the, the problem of all indians no you yeah. could be in lahore but you could be a hindu and then you didn't know which side you want to be on because lahore was still your city and Yeah. So it was it was just that that conflict that people had at a point in time you know who you really are that question of identity when something like this is thrown in your face i guess people just respond when we were making the film in when we were shooting the refugee scenes uh we had many extras who had come because actually in jodhpur we we're not too far from the border right so we had a lot of uh, people who were coming as extras and there are scenes with uh, mount batten in the camp where there are real refugees and he's talking to them just while the camera's on and they start telling him about their real experiences what happened to them how they escaped with their lives because their muslim neighbors put burqas on them got them to on the railway got them across the border and so all this started happening for real on the film but also uh, when we were shooting the, the those refugee scenes it was terribly upsetting because we had a thousand extras and every day we were dressing them to look like period you know 1947 refugees but on our phones we were seeing the news which was the main news at that time was the little syrian boy who was found washed up on the beach um as his family were trying to escape syria so we were looking at refugees on our phone on the news and we were shooting period refugees here and it really made uh, the film feel very urgent um and um i think that um i was going to say something else about that There's a, uh, lady uh, here. there's a lady yeah, yeah. here yeah hi hi uma so basically my question is this is more like a indo british film you know you have started doing that so can we expect you to also join you know the hollywood league and you know sign some movies out there well i've never chased a hollywood or a particular industry i think whatever uh, i chase creativity i chase good scripts uh, i'm doing a tamil film as we speak right now so for me language is not really 
uh, the concern. I mean, I didn't choose scripts based on what language or what territory is going to release in. I think, uh, you know, with Govinda had made this film in Punjabi, I also love to be a part of it. Uh, so yeah, there's a good script, no matter which part of the world it is in, I would, I would be up for it, most uh, definitely. Just Hi. One, okay. Just one added thing, uh, you are also a part of, uh, you know, doing the Rajnikanth film. If you could just tell us what's your role and, you know, how... I think let's keep it to Partition 947. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll do another press conference with okay. that. Gurinder, I have a question for you. Just this lady here, then you... Well, I think f all filmmaking is a risk. You know, anyone who's trying to say something different, it's always a risk as a filmmaker, but you have to follow your heart and you, you have to say what you think. You know, that's what artists do. Um, I want to tell you that uh, my editor in England, uh, Val Valeria, he was Italian, and when we were cutting the film, you know, all the every cut, you know, he, when we screened it for the producers, he would always cry at the end, you know, as an Italian, he was very emotional. And he would always cry, and whenever I wanted to keep something in that I knew would be more appealing to the Indian side of me, he was my biggest defender against people who would say, oh no, it's too emotional, it's too emotional. And I said, no, no, I want this, I want this sequence, I want to do this one. So Valeria was there with me throughout that. But then, when we were halfway through editing, Brexit happened, and suddenly, he became a refugee because he didn't know if he was going to stay in England or he had wife, two, English wife, two children. He didn't know if he had to stay or go to Italy. At the same time, we saw rate, a rise in hate crime. You know, suddenly immigrants were being blamed for problems, you know, because of the rise of the right. You had the rise of the right in uh, Le Pen, in France, in Germany, you know. Uh, it was a very tricky time when we were editing the film. So I think that this rise of the right, wherever you are, you know, um, ultimately, you know, you, one has to stand up for what is right. That this is a nation that is built on the philosophies of Gandhi, Gandhiji. You know, and when I watched the film back, uh, the first time I watched the finished film back, I sat in the cinema, uh, in, in the screening room, and I turned to Paul, my husband, and I said, you know what, there's two people from the past who I think would really appreciate the film. And one is Gandhiji, you know, it's his philosophy, the film. And the second one is Guru Nanak Devji, you know, who says, before you see yourself as a, a Hindu or a Sikh or a Muslim, see yourself as a human. So for me, that, wherever I went, these two, Gandhiji and Guru Nanak Devji, are with me. They're on either side of me. And I think that is the reason why I was able to make the film, because I kept going back to them. Oh, hi, uh, Govindar, I have a question for you. Um, yeah, I just wanted to know, ma'am, how different is the Hindi cut from the film's uh, original British release? Same, exactly the same. Exactly the same. Uh, this is uh, uh, asking you, so considering, uh, you know, there's some amount of criticism as far as the Viceroy House is concerned. Uh, some said that um, it totally disregards the freedom struggle in India. Some said that it was anti-Muslim. And there, there's some amount of brickbats. Uh, now that it's releasing for the Indian audience, uh, what sort of response do you uh, uh, want from this film? Well, I think that um, I think you cannot make a film like this without uh, upsetting people. I mean, because everybody has their own version of history. You know, uh, as the film says, it opens with history is written by the victors. You know, this film would be very different if it was made by a Pakistani in Pakistan, uh, an Indian from India, or a white British person in Britain. But it's the unique combination of who I am that has made it my vision. So people who will have something to say, it's because they want their own version of, of history. You know, they want to see things their way. And that's perfectly valid. You know, I am really not worried about people uh, wanting to see more of this or more of that or more of, you know, uh, this side, you know, more of Jinnah or more of uh, Neruji or more of this. I, I, I'm happy with that because 
the thing is, this is everybody's story, and everybody has to tell their own stories. And this is not going to be the last film on partition. There'll be many more. But this is my version, and this is how I see the world, and this is my record of, of how I see the events that defined me, my family, my community, and my nations, you know, all my nations, um, at that time in 1947. So I absolutely appreciate some people um, having their own comments and they're 100% right because it's an emotive subject you know I think for uh, Pakistan you know it's going to be a very emotional subject in in England what has been very interesting for me is to see the way British Pakistanis have seen the film uh, so, you know compared to a few Pakistanis from Pakistan because uh, there was a, a Muslim writer in Britain who said that um, anybody attacking this film, yes, it was Fatima Bhutto, uh, after her article came out, which was very much from a, a privileged Pakistani perspective, because for her, I think it's very hard to appreciate that her film, that her country was born out of such um, pain, basically. It's hard for people to understand that and appreciate that because people want to rewrite history. Um, but I appreciate her anger. I appreciate, you know, her position. It's hard uh, for young countries uh, to find their place in a global world, you know. Um, but for me, I think that uh, in Britain, what was great was a lot of British Pakistanis saw the film came up to me were very emotional and said, we didn't know our history. We didn't know any of this, and thank you for telling us it. And so I think this is why sometimes it might be hard for people to understand, but being a British Asian, you know, you know, it's a, it, I, I, you know, I have close friends who are British Pakistani as well as Indian, as well as white, and, and we have a different cultural experience than, say, Indians and Pakistanis here on the subject. So I think I've been able to stand back, you know, and, and look at it in a different way, not necessarily the right way or the wrong way, but in a different way, um, and hopefully shine a light on, on, on what it means for me and my ancestors and why my grandmother suffered, as I said, and why I lost my Puaji, who would have been 72 today, uh, had she not uh, died during that time. But ma'am, are there any scenes or particular dialogues which have been omitted to, you know, ensure that you don't get that sort of response once it releases in India? No, because what I tried to do was make a film that was very fair for everybody. You know, as I was cutting the film, I, I wanted to make sure that I was not going to uh, offend, um, you know, people who were uh, liberal-minded and were understanding of where I was coming from. Um, you know, in many ways, you know, this is not a film for people who think from extreme sides, you know. It's, it's how I think. It's my view of the world. It's who I am, you know. Um, and therefore, it's a personal, it's a personal film on, on what I see as the future, you know. And for me, the future, okay, we have partition. Partition is there. There is another country called Pakistan. My homeland is there. My grandfather, my great-grandfather's house, everything is there. But for me, uh, I value uh, the music. You know, I value uh, Punjabi music. I value Punjabi language. I value Punjabi culture, fashions, you know, all this. To, and to me, that's a unifying force. That's a positive thing of what I value about my ancestral sort of culture and legacy. If I can't go back to that village, I can appreciate the, the music and the poetry uh, of, from that, uh, from that uh, joint heritage. Huma here, Justin. Yeah. We'll just take Huma, there's a, there was a shot in the trailer where one character comes to the other and says, Aap, uh, hamare logo ke raha kar And this is of course pre-independent India and we can imagine that sort of dialogue happening. But seven decades later here, we still have this you versus me divide where people are judged upon what their ideologies are and which, which meat they eat. How sad do you think this, the state is? Sad, huh? That we haven't really learned. I mean, it, it's really sad. It's baffling. I... 
uh, I think people who, who talk like that need medical help. This is what my personal opinion is because I don't think any, any God or any religion or any country or the idea of nationhood should divide, it should unify. And like what Gurinder said, you should look at the unifying forces like music and poetry and dance and culture and food. You know, I've grown up in a more secular way. I, uh, I was raised a Muslim, but I've played Krishna at every Janmashtami, you know, in our, in our, in our school and our, uh, you know, colonies, kits and everything. Uh, we never conjured pe hum log jate the. To paon ko na dhote hain, puja karte hain, Diwali manate ho, ab Holi manate ho, Eid bhi utne maze se manate ho. So I think ab jab, when, when you can be together and have the best of all the worlds, why would you choose to take such an extreme point of view and miss out on all these beautiful experiences, all these lovely friends? Why would you choose to do that? So I think people who take such an extreme point of view in life have either ulterior motives or just need medical help. Also, quick question to Mr. Sarkar. Are we looking at a Pakistan release? I mean, is it going to come out officially there? So, uh, it has been sent to censor. Uh, if, if the censor clears it, definitely it will have a Pakistan release. Uh, incidentally, it is having a Bangladesh release. Uh, it, it will be because that pa that's partition history is was as much relevant on yes. the western side as it was on the eastern side of the country. Mm -hmm. So Bangladesh it is already cleared. Bangladesh it will have a release on a, probably on the same date. Uh, Pakistan we are waiting for the censor. If the censor clears, it will have a release. Uh, Huma, uh, normally, yeah, samne aapke. right man. Uh, ji, uh, Huma, normally you are calm and uh, uh, normally you don't say anything media, but in the time of Eid party, you were shooting some paparazzi down the bottom. No, there was nothing like that. If there was news, then what? I have no idea, ma'am. Can I introduce right. the rest of the please, cast, please? Please do that. Yeah, I was yes, about yeah, to do that. I'd like to introduce uh, on stage Denzel Smith. Who's playing Muhammad Ali Jinnah. Muhammad Ali Jinnah. So, let's see their eyes. Arona Day Singh, who plays our... Uh, Asif. Asif. Asif Ali Beg, <laughs> plays our wonderful sous chef. Yeah, it's, yeah. This is Over part there. of the wonderful cast, very small faction, of very course, small. and they're very, very talented, lovely. Thank you so much. We'll just have a couple of solo pictures. Yeah? Uma? Chal. We good? I'll take it. Chalo, say cheese. Cool. We'll just have a couple of solo pictures. Yeah? Sir, Huma, Gurinda, Abhi, Ajay, Arun, Abhi, Huma. 